Hello and welcome to Saved Your Spot. I'm Pepe and in this video I've saved a spot for you to learn all about Emily Dickinson and her work. So get ready for some learning and let's get started right away. <laughs> Emily Dickinson was an American poet who wrote in the mid-1800s. She was born on the 15th of May 1830 in Massachusetts, America, in a farming community called Amherst. She had a younger brother named Austin William Dickinson and a sister called Lavinia Norcross Dickinson. Emily's father was an educated man. He was a lawyer and believed that education was very important. He was controlling and strict and would allow Emily and her siblings to read some books, but not others. It is believed that her poetry was written in response to her father's control. When she was young, she was very outgoing, but as she grew older, she became reclusive living her life in isolation and was thought of as eccentric by the locals. Emily rarely left her home and looked after her mother who got sick and wrote poems about her life experiences. Her poetry was initially criticized for its unique take on grammar. She invented a truly unique style which did not follow many of the literary rules of the time she experimented with capitalization and allowed her sentences to run on and used many dashes. She even included creative pauses within the stanzas and used slant rhyme words that have similar sounds but not identical like swarm and worm. While Emily was alive, about a dozen of her poems were published. She didn't become famous until after her death in 1886 when her sister Lavinia discovered a th about a thousand of her poems hidden away inside her room. She showed them to Thomas Wentworth Higginson, uh, one of Emily's very good friends, who together with Mabel Lomas Todd edited them to fit the conventional poetic rules of the time and published them. A complete and mostly unaltered collection of her poetry became available for the first time when scholar Thomas Johnson now published the book The Poems of Emily Dickinson in 1955. One of her most famous poems is Hope is the Thing with Feathers, written around 1861. In this poem, Emily presents hope as an ever-singing and selfless bird within a person's soul. According to her, hope is a golden quality of a person that shines even during adversity. Using it as a metaphor, she highlights the importance of being hopeful and optimistic for what is life without hope. That's all we have time for. I hope you enjoyed this video and now know more about Emily Dickinson and her work. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow the blog down below for more. Stay tuned till next time. Bye!